Think sustainability, think new. Combine the two, we got an actors for you. A family of entrepreneurial minds driven by social causes who aim at reprocessing environmental scrap, employing the underprivileged and nevertheless upholding the trend owing to changes. An alarming rate of cloth waste is generated in India every year. More than 19 million tons of fabric waste were produced in the year 2021 alone. Out of the clothes purchased and worn, 87% of the cast-offs and production generated waste goes to landfills, where they generate methane, which has a global warming potential four times higher than carbon dioxide, hence contributing significantly to the greenhouse effect. Keeping in mind all these damages caused to the environment, we carefully handpicked these fabrics and introduced Project Puranya with a mission to create new styles and elegance from fabric waste, thereby transforming the Purana into Naya. With a workforce initially based in Tenampet, we were elated to extend our family in partnership with Alivriksham Foundation, welcoming 10 women from Kolathur who work relentlessly to support the cause of Puranya while upskilling themselves and striving to achieve financial independence. These women have been working tirelessly in transforming these cast-offs into finished products that create trends in today's Gen Z dominated society. Coming from diverse cultural backgrounds, the women never fail to surprise us with top-notch products, helping Puranya reach new heights every day. These women are the heart of Project Puranya. As thought came into action, Puranya procured 140 best kilos of raw materials from NGOs, enabling partnership with numerous renowned organizations and acquiring 100 plus kilos of resources from garment exporters and traders, providing an uninterrupted supply all year long. This eventually helped us expand our catalogue from dough mats to pencil pouches, table clothes, coasters, cushions and items specific to Gen Z aesthetic comprising scrunchies, cushion covers, pillow covers, bags and headbands. All of these products are priced within a pocket-friendly range of Rs 15 to 230. Stringing together the gems of triumph, we have been able to accomplish respect, revenue and the reason for this project and its workforce. Amidst the third disastrous wave of COVID-19, the project not only expanded its product catalogue but ensured personalised quality checks of the prototype by its members and ended up pulling off a huge pan-India sale, weaving hope for its workforce as well as its customers who were bound to the walls of their home. Puranya didn't stop here. The drive was extended to a donation campaign where we successfully donated 1000 plus crunchies to little bundles of joy through Zomato Feed India initiative Faridabad. The Good Shepherd School Soul in Himachal Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh Tribal Welfare School and Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyale, Narsara Outpit, Andhra Pradesh during the online sale lasting from January to February 2022. On top of that, as soon as colleges reopened, online sales were brought to the customers on the very grounds of VIT's campus, where we were stocked out within an hour selling a whopping number of 800 plus crunchies in the month of April 2022. Promising figures came out with the growth of the project that revealed how sustainability took a successful leap in providing employment and reducing waste altogether. The revenue and the profits generated through the year-round sales amounted to a profitable sum of about Rs. 2,23,705 generating a profit of Rs. 2,39,000 this enabled us to buy more than a quintal of raw material, which on adding up the donations from institutions and NGOs ensured the constant working of this project, keeping the workforce stable and the purpose alive. As the mission Puranya was under the wings of victory, it acquired its deserved recognition through collaboration with various institutes and NGOs like Happy Souls, The Lantern Tribe, O Scrap Madras and Alai Vruksham Foundation, taking our goal one step ahead and fulfilling the promise we made to nature and our workforce. Pragmatically, we see Prakuranya flourishing with an expected profit of about Rs. 1,18,700 in the upcoming six months with the plan of selling nearly 2,800 units out of our extensive product catalogue. With new hope and clear vision, Project Puranya is looking forward to reviving the forgotten Indian traditional fabric styles with traditional materials and processes. In the upcoming months, we also aim at training 25-plus entrepreneurs and help them attain a stable income. The team is working tirelessly to broaden its horizons by expanding its product catalogue 
so that the products can be sold on online stores like Brown Living, Loopify, Eco Indian Plastic Free Madras, as well as having a flourishing offline market presence in various districts of Chennai. Each Puranya product created and used brings us one step closer to our aim of building a sustainable and dignified future for people from all the strata of society. In a world full of sprinters, we at Enactus VITC strive to run a marathon towards an undeterred vision of a sustainable world by transforming the typical scrap fabric while also looking out for the undebated waste coconut cells. It's fascinating how the hard shells of coconut are not merely a source of imagery and metaphor but products worthy of replacing the hazard of plastics with harmless elegance extracted from shells. The alarming rates of pollution caused by plastic precisely describes its ever-increasing use to make almost all the daily goods, leading to its careless disposal, causing the decay of life on our planet to an unfathomable degree. We know the plastic problem is existent and scary, but do we know how massive it is? According to the UN Environment Program, 300 million tons of plastic is produced every year. That's equivalent to the weight of the entire human population, to put things into perspective. This got us thinking, if plastic is this big of an issue, can an alternative be introduced to recover from it? We realize that we need safer alternatives, but at the same time, they should fulfill the duties of plastic with the same appeal. That is where the Inara initiative steps in. Project Innara at VIT Chennai strives hard to attain sustainability while bringing a sense of joy and independence into the lives of people. Coming from a college in the coastal regions of India, inspiration is all around us and we found ours in the form of coconut shells. Coconut is also the staple diet in southern India and is present in abundance. India happens to be one of the largest producers of coconut with over 14.68 million metric tons of coconut in 2019 alone, accounting for 34% of the global coconut production. While Inara was thinking of an eco-friendly and efficient solution to all these problems, our all-rounder coconut shell proved to be the best alternative to plastic in many areas. Study results have revealed that 62 to 66 percent of the whole coconut is likely to be generated as husk and shell waste. Millions of tons of coconut coir sit in huge piles in India and Sri Lanka due to its slow decomposition rate of 20 years. Analyzing the huge potential in this field, Project Enara decided to transform what the world threw away as undesired waste into mesmerizing products of daily use, desired by all. We have successfully converted and crafted around 350 kgs of waste coconut into numerous products such as rakhis, medium and large bowls, candles, accessories and many more special items on the way. Living up to our ideas of providing entrepreneurial opportunities, our project promotes dignified employment for underprivileged people by providing them with the necessary training and rightful wages. In the past year, our idea has been brought to life by 10 hard-working ladies from the rural tribal populace of Kalpakam as a part of a collaboration with the NGO Ally, The Art of Life. These talented ladies were also trained by Igai Crafts which enhanced the qualities of products made by Inara. To date, our project has changed the life of these underprivileged workforce for the better. Taking all these factors into account, Project Inara introduced a comprehensive catalogue consisting of a diverse range of products from scented candles and bowls to rakis. To understand and suit the demands of its consumers better, prototypes of potential products were kept on a display in an off-campus sale, but customer feedback was taken which helped us in forming a fresh perspective on demands of the market. The cause supported by this project and the uniqueness and diversity in its products led to Inara being on the minds of customers all year long. While the beautifully polished bowls and scented candles added to the aesthetics of the house, the intricately carved rakhis made the festival of Raksha Bandhan all the more exquisite. The sales statistics of Inara are a proof of how this initiative brings goodwill and caters to the needs of customers. Keeping the selling cost of items at an affordable range, Project Inara has made an average profit of Rs 97,095. While Inara has just started unfurling its wings, it sold products worth Rs 45,125 in the initial six months of sales, making a profit of Rs 41,005. The festival of Raksha Bandhan paved way for another milestone in the journey of Project Inara, 
when it's a tooth sale welcome the profit of rupees 10647 all being an outcome of vigilant planning forward vision and persistent hard work by the brilliant workforce nothing could dim the light of inara from here and the continued series of successes made a sub total of rupees 60715 in sales in the next 6 months which accounted for a 34.54% increase compared to the previous recorded sales the figures themselves speak for the quality demand for the products and the ambition driven heart of the team all this wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for the 10 women comprising the highly talented workforce of inara whose dedication earns them a well deserving salary of rupees 4314 expected to increase with the great potential this project has our vision for the next 6 months is to sell bands rakhi scandals and medium and large bowls with an expected profit of approximately rupees 75000 while also brainstorming ideas for new and innovative products owing to their eco friendly build cheap prices and appealing designs the upcycled items created by project inara are loved by people across all the age groups it aims to partner with as many local outlets as possible that are open to the idea of replacing their plastic usage with our upcycled items our products gain the edge over other similar works as other than focusing on profit solely we also focus on supporting marginalized communities by providing them training and employment opportunities thereby keeping the three eyes intact impart the knowledge of turning waste to wonder innovate state of the art products out of discarded coconut shells in spirit new hope and the idea of sustainability in the lives of people the sustainable initiative of project inara will go a long way in saving our planet from the chokehold of plastics and beginning an era of eco friendly products that bring inspiration and innovation to numerous lives